Um, I don't know how to introduce this. I'll just say hi everyone. Hi everyone, let's kick start the show with, it's not scrolling. Let's kick start the show with Gina Asks and there is a lot of puns in this one. Get it? <laughs> Gina, 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 trying to educate you and you are distracted like a moth to the flame, wine and sweets as usual. What do you reckon's going on here? I need one of them. Colin, you know how you always whining at me. Do you care to tell me what this is exactly? Well, it detects bad gags and it's just gone off. No, it is a shock absorber system. So 50 right. kilos, rushing down, 4.5 meters per second, stop dead, kinetic energy into heat energy. There you go. Sounds good. Give me some examples, Colin. Okay, well, I'm going to take a step back. First of all, I've got an example of one here. To show that to the camera. Well, can you just hold that one, please? This one here is similar to what's there. But you can turn this round, this section here, changes the size of the orifice, so that'll change the dampening effect. So if you want it really firm, like on a door, you have it really hard. If you want it soft, it might be on maybe a drone launching system, as an example. There you go, so that's one. Now, can I have that one? Here's the other example. There you go. So this will be used in a pick and place system. A pick and place system? Absolutely. In fact, we saw pick and place on um, some electronic systems earlier, but biggest ones, where do you reckon they go? Oh, no idea. Planes? Well, not bad. Well, yeah, I suppose so. But bridges, that's how big these go to. Wow, check right. that out. There you go. Have you got, that's it, all about shock absorbers. Have you got any wine-based gags, puns for me, or is that it? Uh, v no, that you watch MTD Network. Thanks. Swarve Selfie this week is from Anthony Ambler on his Haas TM1, and he has been working on some yokes for a motorbike. Part pickies, check out this one sent in from Nicholas Spears. It's 901 stainless flange adapter for the sealess pump industry. Machined and completed on XYZ 320 LTY. Slow of the week is from Clive Glossop. Again, this was machined on an XYZ 500LR milling machine cutting some pockets in our, in our, in a what? Wait, <laughs> you have to go back. What's a Bosch? On their Bosch Rexroth aluminium extrusion. Is that what it says? Extrusion using a three flute 14 millimeter alu powered end mill supplied by Cutwell Limited. Oh la la. Your selfies are in with the goodie bags. Check out these pickies. I'll be all really, really happy with your prizes. Pretty. There is like obviously ones with smash mugs and stuff. Um, check out this clip from Mark Hopkins on LinkedIn from Thomas Lee Recruitment. He sent in his breakdown of how a CNC machine works in just under a minute. Check this out. What is a CNC machine and why do we have them? CNC machine is a really simple concept basically. It's a very simple robot. You get your engineering drawing, you then create a set of coordinates from that drawing, and those coordinates then is transmitted to the cutting tool, which then cuts that particular material. And the advantages of a CNC machine is that you can get really tight tolerances. And why is that important? The tighter the tolerance, the better the object performs. So basically, you will get more quality from something. And the better something performs, the better that particular part or thing will become. Now for the world into the future, the more of these things we can build a higher quality, the better our lives will become because that part could be a water pump or it could be an engine, it could even be a car. So this is why CNC machines are extremely important to manufacturing. You could automate things, you need less manpower, but also you can get things to a tighter tolerance than a human can make. Although some manual machinists will disagree with me on that one. So Blast for the Past this week is all about robots. And the first one dating back to 1970s, we're reliably informed a few are in operation around the country and do know where they are. Check out this Blast from the Past. Right, Blast from the Past, you'd normally expect me to be doing this MTD network in a machine shop, but we're at ABB Robotics in Milton Keynes. We've been doing some filming today on these fantastic machines, six axis, huge payload, vision systems, state of the art, absolutely brilliant. Everything's now packed away, I was heading home, but then I saw this beauty, no, not Matt, the robot here, it has to be Just done as a blast from the past. Matt, 
tell me a bit about it, please. This is a 1973 vintage uh, IRV6. This is one of the first electro microprocessor controlled robots uh, that there was out there. Um, and uh, believe it or not, there's still some of these in operation today. It's still going strong, isn't yep. it? Testament Brilliant. to the reliability of ABV. Absolutely. Now, the machines we've just been filming, six and seven axis, how many axis is this? This is a four axis robot, four so axis. Much, much simpler, yep. uh, nowhere near as accurate as, uh, as the robots that we, that we have today. A lot has developed since then, but uh, still a good robot. But I also notice a SEA, uh, is it? Yeah, a SEA um, and Brown Brodrich were two companies that came together to make oh. ABB. So Swedish and, and Swiss companies came together. Oh, a bit of education for me. There we go, yeah, absolutely. Now, blast and pass, normally you have to guess what age it is. We know what age it is, 1973, but I want to know, first of all, to get the right payload on this, guess it, will win a decent price. Matt, what are you going to tell me? It, oh, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot. Uh, as a little tip, the equivalent robot today would carry about 12 kilos. So there you go. Get your guesses in. First correct guess, and not from you, Matt, or your colleagues who have been standing in the background, <laughs> will give you a nice prize, maybe even a for chips goodie bag. I'm Gina Tara, and welcome to Network News. MTD Network has an ample amount of engineers ready to quote for your parts that you are making. Please send over your drawings, quite simply by hitting the red button. We need to do something for hitting the red button. Send over your drawings by qu quite simply hitting the red button. Ah! So are you ready to supply ventilators and ventilator components? The Department of Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy is looking for organisations who can support in the supply of ventilators and ventilator components across the United Kingdom as part of the government's response to COVID-19. Head over to the website shown on the screen and answer the questions they aim to identify the suitability and readiness of organisations to be involved in the initiative. MTD Network client Rotec are offering priority to any companies assisting in the emergency respiratory and associated equipment that is urgently needed. If you require any designing or manufacturing of tooling fixtures or manufactured components, please get in touch. They will reprioritize their five axis machines with immediate effect. Contact either eWalker at rotechlimited.com, sales at rotechlimited.com, or you can alternatively call them.